welcome back it's nice to see the car all in one piece really which is nice um i'm not really feeling it today it is a few days before christmas it's cold ish damp um <clears throat> so i don't know how much i'm gonna do but i thought i would start fabricating the closing panel for here i'm gonna go look through my stock of bits and pieces and see if there's a wing a good wing i can actually copy because it's easier than trying to freestyle it um whether or not that ties in with the repair i'm going to need to make here i don't know probably won't but uh as a priority i want that bit done so then it's all kind of i don't know big bit done here is one the rover made earlier this is the bit i need to make so I can get them uh, most of the templating done using this. One thing that's just popped out at me is that this isn't actually straight along the bottom here. It actually does have a bit of a curve to it. So we'll have to try and find a clever way. I mean, it's subtle, but it's there. So we'll have to find a way of replicating that too ta-da that is first draft of repair needed um i've added some reference measurements down there to the return that i need to make there will be another one at the back i just haven't measured it up yet but i'm gonna make that first uh and try and make it with that curve in it you can't see it because it is so subtle but i'll go and get the folder out i'll cut the piece the right shape then i'll either fold it in the folder if i can or i might have to bend it over the edge of the workbench just so as i bend it up i can put the return in and i'll do this bend here first because that's the most important one this bit i can hammer and smash afterwards um, and I can put a bit of belly in that by stretching this bit with a hammer as you do which I shall show later on hopefully if I need to do it that way anyway right off to get the metal out sheet metal make noise and make mess back in the workshop that is my temp well not my template that is now cut out of steel and um, I'm not going to use my folder which is down there in the vise uh, because I won't be able to turn the angle to get the, the sort of that line in a curved fashion that just literally does straight so I am going to use the edge of my uh, worktop because it's five mil zinc treated steel so I can clamp this on there and then hopefully tap with a hammer and push down and bend it over there and by following the line and turning the panel like that should be able to get that curve in and then i'll just have to fold that up and smash it flat and it'll hopefully retain the curve first bit of bashing complete and we do have kind of curve as I wanted which is good and that was really achieved by hitting these bits really hard in and then not beating that bit quite as hard and almost as I was hitting it pushing it with the hammer if that makes sense so we'll go and offer that up to the old panel <coughs> oops Nick to myself somewhere. Oh, you can't really see, but it's getting there. Um, that doesn't need to be bent at 90 degrees, so that can come back out a bit, and then I'll put that other return in. But we should be getting somewhere close. We are getting somewhere. To create that bottom lip, I just marked the backside where I needed the curve, and then hammered it over the edge of the table again trying to put a bit of curve in it so that it curves you know it's not straight there it has got a bit of belly same as the panel I'm trying to make 
to help that even more, I'm now gonna beat this edge, which will make this return longer. And because it's constrained along that top edge, it'll have the effect of bending the whole thing like that. So I should really have a special hammer for that, but I don't have one to really use that because it has at least got a curved front face to it. some bashing later we have that I still need to put the return in that end but I'll need to cut a slot or maybe two because it has to flare out like that like so so you see it kicks up there I started putting that in then I kind of forgot about it and wandered off to do something else but I will probably have to do that now it's really just along the continuation of that edge there is where it bends that shouldn't be too hard to do most of the rest of it is done let's go and see what it looks like on the car <clears throat> it's getting darker but you get the idea that i need to chop a bit more meat meat out of there and um a bit more out of here i deliberately left that bit long so i've got that metal here uh, yeah more of the same really more jiggery pokery just been doing a tiny bit more fettling down here and it is clamped in in a couple of places it'll all go in nicely so that's good the shape of it looks good it butts up against everything. It's all rather distorted at the moment because it needs a good clout with a hammer here. That's going to come off. That's all good metal, so that bit will come off too. But yeah, I can seam weld all the way along, all the way along there. The returns at this end are going to be in the right place. This whole wheel arch lip needs to go in on top, which is why that looks a bit baggy. <coughs> uh, it's going to finish off down here in the wheel well quite nicely and the other way of checking excuse me while I get off my ass it's from inside excuse me so that's all looking nice with the boot floor gonna end up with a nice neat seam here and that's level which is good that panel can be stitch welded onto there as i've done on the other side i can even put a stitch in here if i want we well all looks good down there i can tie that in to that bit and trim it off neat flush underneath ah oh, dear me but i'm gonna quit while i'm ahead go in and get some tea because it's it's cold it just gets dark so quick Again, this phone is really good at tricking the light, making it look like it's still daylight, but lights in the house are on and it's damp. So I will go watch TV. I cannot get a break with the weather. Even when the weather forecast says it's dry, it doesn't actually mean dry. It means water everywhere like this was all dry last night and it's all wet just from misery and dampness got this weird scotch mist even the birds can't be bothered to fly they're just all sat in the bushes and the trees looking all miserable so rather than mope around I'm gonna oh I bought myself a tray and a magnet thing and a little mirror because it was cheap um, but yeah I'm going to get my welder out it's not actually windy which is one good thing for welding and I'll weld that patch on last night after I switched the camera off I did do a tiny bit more fettling I drilled the plug weld holes along the bottom and then I hammered 
a return lip which is what they have underneath uh, gonna offer it up to the car again I also cleaned off the remainder of the paint uh, zinc painted it can't remember whether I showed that or not but yeah I'm gonna clamp that up in there just do a final eyeballing of everything then tack it in a few places you know how I try not to hide anything from the camera this is a little repair that I've had to do basically this return lip of the boot floor that is all original metal apart from that bit down there which I replaced when I was giving this a final clean up it went through and basically where I'd cut the old outer panel off where that sort of cut line is there I'd cut through and this was all dead floppy so I'm having to just weld in along the top to stiffen it all up then I'll nip that back with the sander and we should be good to go and put that panel in but yeah basically at the moment I'm filling in tiny pinholes with the welder set to its absolute minimum setting trying not to blow a big hole this is why jobs like this become time consuming but that is all now solid metal all joined in along the top and there was a pinhole there which blew out so that's been plugged up um, there is mess on the back which um, I'm not going to tidy up now because I'll wait until I've got where is it that panel on and then where the plug welds go through I can clean it all up in one go in fact I probably won't do any clean up on the whole of the underside of the boot floor till all the welding's done um, and then I'll do all of that and the, the wheel wells with stone chip all at the same time with the car really high in the air so uh, get the clamps out clamp that on and um, <clears throat> weld it in okay that's clamped in there this will fit up really nicely like so this I'll just seam weld all the way along this bit will end up being a slight bit more of a butt weld but it's all good metal so it shouldn't blow any holes that's clamped in there and waiting these are ready to be bent round once I've done that bit so it all follows a nice curve uh, it's all happy in there don't know whether you'll be able to see from here but the join with the boot floor is nice and even I don't know I showed it from this side I might be boring you because I might have shown this yesterday but that's what it will look like from this side yeah. There we go, still recording, happy days. So it'll look like that. Sorry, dropped the phone. So that will all look like that. Nice and smooth, like that side. Um, I haven't drilled the hole yet because uh, the hole for the sunroof drain channel, this thing, because um, I want to make sure uh, it's in the right place so if I weld that in then I can mark it and drill it from underneath with the hole saw
most of the welding is done I've seamed in along the top some of it was super lovely and neat other bits not so much uh, but it's on there that's all done around the back here I've dressed that corner but I'm gonna have to fill in that bit I've just thrown a tack across to act as a bit of a heat bridge so I should be able to weld in the rest without blowing a massive hole I just stopped because I want to get my grinder out and cut a slot along here in an attempt to tuck that inside and then run a seam down here and then it should all look original so I've just used the cutting disc the thin one to cut that slot so now I can weld into it and hopefully dress it flat and I won't have something ugly going on I've just totally deafened myself by using my grinders without ear defenders um, so all I can hear is ringing but that is all cleaned up again I've not gone mega stupid because there's no point it's all gonna get a skimmer filler plus this whole bit of the car it's pointless actually going to this level of detail i probably should have just fiberglassed it or gobbed it because you can't see any of it when the bumper's on anyway and everything below that line is painted in matte black and under seal so all rather pointless but it's done this bit i've been tidying up and just exploring with the grinder that's all good metal on this side even that that's just surface i'll grind that out in a minute this corner though will want surgery probably from there all the way down to there um, that lower return just going to straighten that with a hammer and then the bit we all like painting it in red oxide primer so it all looks one colour and beautiful that is it that is me done for today that's all in there it looks a bit of a mess in some ways because that's all unfinished but all protected underneath and inside looks like that so um yeah i call it a day it's very cold it's miserable it still hasn't i mean usually you can see for miles over there but it's just shit misty crappiness hanging in the air and i'm getting cold so i'm gonna finish and probably upload this so see you later